The White Cliffs and a P&O ferry to Calais tells us we're in Dover and near famous marks that give the shore angler good reach out to sea in the form of two piers and a breakwater. Our first visit is to the Prince of Wales Pier, an excellent venue that will suit anglers of all ages and physical abilities. As you can see, pier opening and closing times are posted at the start of the pier. No nights, but at least you can fish into evening. Immediately to your right is the ticket machine for your permit and the rules. The Prince of Wales is run by Dover Sea Angling. They also control the Admiralty Pier and the Breakwater, so it really is worth considering joining up. Their website is the go-to place for info on all three venues. There's no fishing for the first few hundred yards. You need to get past the huts on the knuckle. As soon as you get the other side of the huts, fishing is allowed. Just be aware though, there's no fishing on the inside harbour. You need to cast to the outside harbour. In the distance is the Admiralty Pier, our next stop off. It's a different kettle of fish altogether and fishes out to the open sea. You're not fishing into the open sea on the Prince of Wales, but you do have plenty of water to go at, and it's all, thankfully, unnetted.